Welcome, I'm Seema from Edufanite. This episode is about English grammar quiz on gerunds and infinitives and there are 20 questions based on it. The answers are provided with the explanation for your convenience. If you need to refresh your memory on the topic, then please click on the links provided in the description box. If you have any queries, you can write to me in the comment section. Let us delve into the topic. Well, this is a quiz on gerunds and infinitives. Complete the following exercises with gerund or infinitive forms of the indicated verbs. Now, you'll have five questions. I'll give you five questions at one go. And then you can pause the video and write down the answers and then check with mine. So the first sentence is, you will have blank. The verb is travel this afternoon. So you have to decide whether it's the gerund form or the infinitive form of the word travel that you'll have to use for this blank space. And for each and every one, you'll have to decide that. I'll give you the verb. You'll have to decide whether you'll have to use the gerund form or the infinitive form of that verb in that particular blank space. Hope you do not have trouble blank commute. If you have any trouble, I strongly suggest blank. The verb is use and alternate route if possible. The airlines has issued a statement of apology for blank. The verb is cause inconvenience to the passengers. The planes are expected blank. The verb is fly from next Monday. Well, you can pause the video, write down your answers, deciding on whether you'll use a gerund form or the infinitive form, and then come back and check the answers with that of mine. Well, the answers. You will have to travel this afternoon. So we are using the infinitive form over here. The infinitives are all gray and the gerunds are all green. The next one. Hope you do not have trouble commuting. So after the verb, there are certain verbs after which we use the gerund form. So after trouble, we have over here used commuting. ING, that is the gerund form. The next one. If you have any trouble, I strongly suggest to use an alternate route if possible. So we've used the infinitive form of the verb use. Because over here, the word is suggest. So some verbs like agree, decide, expect, hesitate, neglect, suggest, these type of verbs usually take in the infinitive form of the verb and not the gerund form. So the next one, the airlines has issued a statement of apology for causing the inconvenience to its passengers. So here we have for as a preposition and gerunds only function as the object of preposition. So the object of preposition for is causing. So it's the gerund. Next. The planes are expected. Again, we see when, whenever we have the ed form of the verb, we usually use the infinitive after that. We don't use flying. The planes are expected flying from next Monday. No, the planes are expected ed to fly infinitive form from next Monday. Well, with the next five set of questions. Dash, the verb is smoke, is injurious to health. Next. The man who was severely wounded yesterday is now blank. The verb is fight for his life. The highway isn't expected blank. The verb is clear before an R. The girls will be prepared blank propose their idea to their teacher. And the last one of this set, Mr. Desai hates blank the verb is spend money. So now you'll decide which form of the verb, either the gerund form or the infinitive form goes in each of these sentences. You please pause the video, write down your answers and then check them with mine. So the first answer. Smoking is injurious to health. So whenever we have, you know, 
the subject of the verb here it is smoking ing we'll use a gerund form it's not to smoke is injurious to health we are talking about the act as a whole it's not the act then it is about the act the smoking as a whole like if you smoke that is not good for health so that is what we are trying to say so smoking is injurious to health well the next one the man who was severely wounded yesterday is now fighting for his life so the action again he is what is he trying to do he is fighting for his life so over here we have the gerund form of the verb next the highway isn't expected to clear before an hour again it's ed as i told you after ed we have the infinitive uh, form of the verb so it's to clear not clearing next the girls will be prepared again ed so it's the infinitive form of the verb so to propose not proposing so the girls will be prepared to propose their idea to the teacher well the next one mr desai hates well the verb hates there are certain verb which take both the gerund and the infinitive form of the verb and they mean the same so over here we can either say mr desai hates spending money or mr desai hates to spend money so the both form the gerund as well as the infinitive form works fine with this sentence now the third set of five sentences dash swim the verb is swim is a good exercise peter was satisfied blank the verb is get it across they are confident of blank verb is win the election he is unable blank begin the verb is begin the work they are fighting a blank the verb is lose battle well as i've already said you can pause it write your answers and then check with mine well the answers well as we see as i told you before before is we always have the gerund form of the verb so it's swimming and not to swim swimming is a good exercise well the next one peter was satisfied to get it across again ed so as i told you after ed we use the infinitive form so it's to get and not getting across getting it across so that's wrong well they are confident of winning the election again this is the object of preposition of so object of preposition is always a gerund and so we use the gerund form of the verb over here he is unable to begin the work so after certain verbs as i told you earlier we use only the infinitive form over here the verb is unable is unable so after unable we use the infinitive form of the verb so it's to begin and not beginning they are fighting a so article after an article what do we have we have a noun because an article is always followed by a noun so over here we'll be using the gerund form they are fighting a losing battle and not they are fighting a to lose battle so it's always the gerund form after the article well the next the last set in fact of the five questions we are ready blank the verb is explain the whole process she was reluctant blank the truth blank verb is bark dogs seldom bite are you afraid blank the verb is speak the truth well the last one he was thrilled blank the verb is have the car with him now you can pause the video write down your answers and check with mine so here's the answer we are ready to explain the whole process so over here we're using the infinitive form of the verb and not we are ready to explaining it's we are ready to explain after ready we use the infinitive form of the verb he was thrilled to have the car with him so again it's ed and after ed we always use the infinitive form of the verb so it's to have and not having and the next one she was reluctant to tell the truth so after reluctant we use the infinitive form next this is the subject so it's describing about the dogs so it will be the gerund it's not to bark it will be barking dogs seldom bite now again off so after off we always use the gerund because gerunds are objects of 
prepositions. So of being the preposition. So it is, are you afraid of speaking the truth? So that's all for today. Thank you for being there with me. If you like the content, do give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Do consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell icon for future updates. Bye. Take care. See you in the next one.